There were moments where I began to question what was my purpose for being here? What does Allah want from me? Here I am wasting away. I'm a prison cleaner. I get a mop every morning and I clean the floors so that other people that have committed crimes, they can walk upon it. Then one night I saw a dream. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim A few years after I had been in prison without trial not knowing if or when my detention would ever end there were moments where I began to question what was my purpose for being here? What does Allah want from me? There's so much that I could be doing outside and I'm just wasting away here inside. My family would come and they'll tell me that there has been an Islamic conference that took place that was attended by a thousand people or an event took place that was attended by five thousand people, ten thousand people and part of me would wonder that here I am wasting away I'm a prison cleaner I get a mop every morning and I clean the floors so that other people that have committed crimes they can walk upon it then one night I saw a dream I saw a dream where tens of thousands of people had gathered in this neighborhood to listen to the Friday sermon of a speaker there were people that were looking out of the windows of their houses there were people on the streets crowds and crowds of people and I remember there was an Islamic personality there and an Islamic speaker it's not important who it is but he also was there but he was part of the audience and all of them were listening to this speaker and then I looked carefully and that speaker was me and in that dream in that sermon in that dream I recited this verse from the Quran and I still remember it clearly to this day Surah Qasa Surah 28 verse 83 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem Tilka Darul Akhiratu Naj'aluha Lilladheena La Yuriduna Uluwan Fil Ardi Wala Fasada Wal Aqibatu Lil Muttaqeen That is the home of the hereafter that we reserve for those who neither seek glory nor seek corruption in the land and the righteous end is for the believers so glory is not sought from the number of followers that you have or the number of people that crowd around you we see in this age of social media where the one most worthy of respect is not the one that has done most actions is the one who has the most followers and yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his own standard talk is easy talk is cheap it's easy for you to learn how to speak and use difficult words and give a talk and for people to listen to it but actions that match those words are hard so if it's glory that you seek, then seek it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you want glory, then humble your heart before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He will bring glory to your feet. And that is the meaning of that verse. That is the home of the hereafter that we reserve for those who neither seek glory nor seek corruption in the land and the righteous, the, the ultimate end is for the righteous. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> Come on,